I think it's very important for women to understand how their fertility changes with age. Most women are having a big jump in their careers and in their relationships in their 30s, but don't realize that actually that's the point at which their fertility starts declining. And so it's important for women to keep that on their radar, just like they would keep anything else on their radar as far as relationships or career, to keep in mind that they may need additional help getting pregnant when it becomes the right time for them. Testing for infertility is fairly straightforward. It usually involves some simple blood tests, an ultrasound, and some limited diagnostic studies. It's a fairly straightforward process to help us identify whether or not there's a male or female or both contribution to the infertility. And typically with a limited number of tests, we can usually obtain the answer and help move forward with the most effective treatment plan. For women coming in looking for infertility testing or have had an issue with infertility in the past, typically we're recommending to them to have some blood work done that helps us assess what their hormone profile is, as well as tests to help us assess egg quantity. Age mostly tells us about what the quality of those eggs will be, but having certain hormone or blood tests can help us determine what their ovarian reserve or their ovarian bank account is. Is it very high and that we know that we have a bit of time to help them get pregnant, or are we worried about diminished ovarian reserve and needing to move forward with infertility treatment sooner? So for couples that have not been able to conceive within a year, that's normally the time at which their primary physician or ob provider is recommending fertility testing. That typically helps us evaluate not only the ovarian status as far as reliably releasing an egg every month, but also gives us a sense of whether or not the tubes are open, if the uterus is a good place for an embryo to implant, and whether or not we've got enough sperm to get the job done. Couples that have been trying for pregnancy for 12 months and have not been able to get pregnant would be couples that we would recommend having a basic infertility workup. But there are some couples for whom that 12-month waiting period uh, does not apply, and I really would consider them to seek infertility treatment sooner. Certainly, being over the age of 35, we want couples to come in sooner than that, so that way we can help augment the process and counteract some of the age-related infertility that we see. So they would rec be recommended to come in after six months. There are certain couples where we know that they're not getting access to sperm or they're, they're not ovulating regularly. And in those cases, it, you don't need to wait for 12 months in order to seek infertility treatment. And certainly if there's an issue with either partner having a chronic medical illness or having a history of cancer treatment where we know that their fertility may be diminished, those again are couples that we would recommend strongly to come in sooner so at the very least we can talk with them about treatment plans and options going forward. I feel very strongly about having patients be empowered to know what their fertility is and what things they need to keep in mind when they move forward and have life plans for creating a family. We want to make sure that they have all that information now so that they can better plan for the future.